So today we're gonna to be breaking down two separate portable power stations that both offer their own benefits. Now this one is the larger EcoFlow uh, River 2 Pro. So this is the larger, more powerful model to the River 2, where this is the Fantic Evo 300. Now both have a few different features and they're both going to offer their own benefits and a few negatives as well. So let's start by unboxing them and see what comes with each device. Okay, so now that we have them unboxed, you can really see the size comparison if the box didn't give it enough, uh, you know, an, a, enough insight. This one is almost literally twice as large and it is uh, probably twice as heavy as well. So it is a hefty boy, but that's obviously means it's a lot more powerful overall. So it has higher wattage and all that, and we will go over that. Now cords, they have very similar cords. You have your AC port, you have your DC car plug-in, and then this one comes with a few USB-C plug-ins as well. They both have fast charging. This one will actually go to zero to 70% in like 50 minutes, super quick, uh, especially for the size of the battery. And this one lasts over 3000 battery cycles. So that's full recharges before you start to see any deterioration. Now you also get your same plug-ins that we get in the other box. So exact same, nothing else changes. You just don't get the USB-C. Now, one feature I love about the Fantic that this one doesn't come with is this on the back. Look at this. It has a built-in little flashlight slash a little spotlight. So this is really handy. If you're camping, you can have a little area light without needing to bring an extra one with you. So it's built in. Just a nice feature I really like, uh, especially on this device. Now, both these can be charged, and you saw the strobe mode as well. Both these can be charged either through your car, they can be charged through AC, but they also offer solar charging. So you can get separate solar panels, and they do have the correct hookups to make sure that you can set up the solar. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the different ports. So let's start with our display screen, actually, before we get to all the ports and stuff, because they are very similar in a lot of ways. So display screens, as you're going to see, they show the same information, just relayed a little differently. So here it's going to show your battery life in minutes, also in percentage. As you can see, our battery is dead over here. It's also going to show you your wattage that is going in and your wattage that is going out. So that will tell you how much energy you're pulling out and how much energy you're putting in to see if you are uh, charging it more than you're taking out. Now on this side, it has the same information. However, it's quite a bit larger and I really appreciate uh, the screen size on this one. I think it just looks a little cleaner and it's a little easier to notice the information. Now both these have the ability to turn on and off their AC and DC ports just by clicking it. However, this is the only model that you can turn the display on and off. And I think that's a nice little feature. Uh, it, I guess it saves a little bit of battery and then you also don't have to look at the screen the whole time. Now you also get USB ports on both of them. This one has three USB A's, which are your normal USB. I believe these ones are around 15 watts and then a USB C, which is a hundred watt where this one has two USB C's, 60 watt and then two USB uh, A's. Now they both have those weird circular chargers. I can't even remember what those are for and one DC port for any car plugins. Now this has four full size grounded AC ports. I believe it's up to 600 watts total. It's powerful. It lasts a lot longer and you can run bigger appliances with this. These have two ports as well. However, they don't have really have the ground built in, um, but you can still use those kind of plugins. It's gonna cap out at 300 watt total. So you can't really nearly use anything as powerful with this unit and the battery is not nearly as large. So honestly, overall, these are great power stations. This is obviously a larger one that's going to be a lot heavier to carry around. But if you're doing big camps or you have an RV, this might be the bigger and better option. Now I say this one is better for charging and running small devices. It's just the perfect little portable power station that you can bring camping and use for a bunch of different stuff.